Okay, in this video, we are gonna do an AP Calculus free response question practice. Um, it involves area, and you should not be afraid of this type of question. So, it's actually from a really, really old AP exam, but the question is still pretty good. Um, so, it's from 1972, it was question three on the AB exam and question two on the BC exam that year. Let's see what it says. So, f of x is equal to k times sine of k times x, where k is a positive constant. So some people are a little afraid of these types of problems where there's some like random constant in there. Don't worry about it. I mean, like, uh, it's, it's not really any different than if it was five times sine of five X or uh, 12 times sine of 12 X, right? Same idea, it's just K is a constant. So you just have to treat it as a constant as you do the problem. So let's see uh, what we're doing. We're gonna find the area of the region bounded by one arch of the graph of F and the X axis. Uh, so we're gonna need a graph of this. So I'm gonna create that next. Uh, and then in part B, we'll find the area of the triangle formed. Let, let's just grab it. So uh, this is our function. It's, a, it's just kind of a normal sine function. I recommend that you review graphing uh, sine and cosine every once in a while. You don't have to do like all of the modifications, uh, but changing the period is kind of important. Use that for sine charts when you're doing increasing, decreasing, things like that. Um, you do that with this type of problem. Uh, it's very useful to be able to create the graph. So. Uh, I know that the period is 2 pi divided by b, which is the coefficient of x, which is k in this case, so 2 pi over k, and then the increment is 1 fourth of that, so it's 2 pi over 4k, but 2 pi over 4k is actually just going to be uh, pi over 2k. All right, so I also know one arch, uh, I call them hills, but one arch of this thing takes two increments, so we're going to go pi over 2k, and then 2 times pi over 2k, which is just pi over k. And also, the amplitude of this graph is k, because that's the coefficient of the sine function, so it's just going to go up here. So that's like a lot of time talking about how to graph a sine function. You want to like just knock that graph out. You don't want to really be talking about it. Um, so intercept, maximum intercept, and then you can sketch it. All right, we're ready to go. Part A. We're gonna find the area of the region bounded by one arch of the graph of F and the x-axis. So I'm doing the first arch. I mean, I guess you could do any of them. Uh, so I'm gonna say, this is the region that I'm trying to find the area of. And this is very straightforward. This is just the integral from zero to pi over k of our function. Our function has a k in it. So it's k times sine of kx. But we're not afraid of that, right? And then dx. So x is the variable. So uh, if you think it through, this is a perfect derivative, right? So uh, the chain rule would have given me that k that's a coefficient. You could do a u substitution. u is equal to k times x. So then uh, du is equal to k dx. So there's a one over k, the k's cancel. We're gonna end up at, the key thing is don't forget the negative in front of cosine. So negative cosine of kx. If you're not good at u substitution, that's, uh, I really recommend you get good at u substitution. It's like the most common technique that you're gonna end up using. So we're going from zero to pi over k. Something kind of magical here is gonna happen. Uh, so I'm gonna plug in uh, the upper bound. That's a negative cosine of, the k's actually cancel, right? Uh, it's k times pi over k, those cancel. So we just get cosine of pi and then minus negative. Uh, I recommend you always put the second part when using fundamental theorem, at least put the second part in parentheses so you remember to distribute negatives in the event that there's something to distribute. Uh, so the case, uh, well, I mean, obviously when you plug in zero, zero times anything is zero, so that works out. Cosine of pi is negative one, cosine of zero is one. So we get negative negative one, which is one, minus negative one, so that's one plus one, two. This is kind of neat, right? Um, so neat. Uh, it doesn't depend on k. You pick whatever k you want. You're just going to get two. All right, let's take a look at the next one. So I've copied over uh, our picture, and we are trying to find the area of the triangle formed by the x-axis and the tangents to one arch uh, of f. Uh, I struggled there. Arch of f at the points where the graph of f crosses the x-axis. So we're going to need the tangent lines, which means we're going to need the slope. So also, we're going to see my picture is terrible. I mean, those, those clearly would intersect and give you an isosceles triangle by symmetry. Uh, my picture is not good enough. All right, so f of x is k times sine of kx. We have to find f prime. Remember, x is the only variable. So this is not like a product rule or anything. Uh, it's just 
you know, uh, the derivative of sine of kx is cosine of kx times k by the chain rule, and there was already a k, so k squared cosine of kx. And we're going to plug in 0 because that's where one of the tangent lines is. So k squared, remember we're plugging in for x, cosine of 0, the cosine of 0 is 1, so this just gives us k squared. We also need to plug in uh, pi over k. So f prime of pi over k is going to be k squared. And then you end up with the cosine of pi because the k's cancel. Um, cosine of pi is negative 1, so this is negative k squared. OK, so uh, I'm trying to find this. So uh, I'm going to need the equations of the tangent lines, I guess, to like find the height of the triangle. That's basically what I need to know, is how high up do I go to get the height? So. Uh, this tangent line is at 0, so this. So it's really just y equals k squared times x. And then this tangent line is y equals negative k squared uh, times the quantity x minus pi over k. So I don't think you really need to solve the system of equations to know that these intersect at pi over 2k uh, by symmetry. Not necessarily by my picture, but just, you know, by symmetry. So, I mean, there's our base. Our base is going to be pi over k. So we're going from 0 to pi over k, so pi over k. And then our height is up here. I drew it so it matches up with pi over 2k, because by symmetry, that's where it should be. I think we can just take pi over 2k and plug it into either tangent line. Uh, so our base is pi over 2k, uh, pi over k, sorry. And then our height, I'm going to take pi over 2k and plug it into the first tangent line, because that's the easier one to evaluate. Um, so I'm plugging in here. So it's going to be k squared pi over 2k. So the height of this thing is pi times k over 2, because one of the k's canceled from the numerator. And then it's a triangle, so the area is 1 half base times height. So area, 1 half the base, which is pi over k times the height, which is pi over k over pi times k over 2. Uh, the k's actually cancel again. So this question uh, has this parameter of k, but it turns out in all instances k just cancels out. So we just get pi squared over 4, which is kind of a weird area, but that is the area of that triangle. All right, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.